Good evening. To start this off, I would like to introduce you the painter, artist, Susan Rothenberg. She is born on 1945 at Buffalo, New York City, at Cornell University, graduating with a BFA and is briefly studying at the Corcoran School of Art. She is best known for her paintings of animals and figurative scenes using quick gestural props and brushstrokes and using rich colors, but I wouldn't believe that because I've seen her paintings at the beginning were just horses and it's just drawings and it's mostly a title. I don't know why. I, I researched into it. I didn't find it. And she trained at uh, the University of Cornell and she was an assistant to two women artists, namely Nancy Graves and Joan Jones. She follows a minimalist work of art. She has many paintings of horses and most of the art. What do you call that? Titled. So, this is one of her paintings. The painting is untitled. The title is not untitled, but she did. She does have a show untitled. And I think this was one of the paintings in the show untitled. Um, it is made and accomplished in 1974 in acrylic and tempera on canvas. The dimensions are 36 by 45 inches. She mainly uses horses for her paintings before the 1970s because she considers it as the surrogate as a surrogate of the human body. That and by the middle of the 70s, 1970s, Rothenbergs has said that I sense that people were tired of minimal and conceptual art. It made sense to paint an image of something you could recognize and feel something about. And I would show something like that. Well, something after 1970s by the end part of this video. And this is another picture painting of Susan Rothenberg. The title of this painting is For the Light. For the Light is made on acrylic and vinyl paint on canvas and it's accomplished by 1978 and 79. It's by the late 70s in which she should not have been making paintings of horses anymore. Oh well. The, the dimensions are 267 by 221.1 centimeters. In this work, she depicts a larger than horse frontally, so it appears to be galloping into the viewer's space. She also put um, a bone. It's a bone, it's not a unicorn actually. It's kind of creepy, but no, it's not. It's for psychological purposes, according to Susan Rothenberg. And according to her, that strange bone image come, came out as a doodle. Rothenberg explained, after I got over its strangeness, I found I could use it formally. But the bone also represented a kind of introspection. It was like digging, in, digging deep in myself and pulling something out. Meaning that, oh, and this also explains most of her art, which is she makes art abstract in not really abstract, but it's abstract in a way that you would try to find the meaning out of it, even though there's only so few that you can get out of a horse with usually there's a vertical line halving it. But what Susan Rothenberg wants is for the for the viewer to find meaning into it not just her giving meaning to her paintings that's why it's not really a personal painting it's more of a subjective type of painting in which you are the one who is going to find meaning mm, yeah just like this horse so another painting of Susan Rothenberg is entitled August and I will flash it. It is one of the paintings in her untitled art show. It is 
made in 1974, finished in 1976. It is elegant in clarity and seems to represent a rag unsettled condition in that is simultaneously both end according to someone who reviewed it considering that the painting is seemingly having a shadow but if you come to think of it it's not really a shadow or another horse it's kind of like when you when you're dizzy then you see two images yeah something like that yeah that so Here is another painting of Susan Rothenberg. It's entitled First Horse, 1974, at Semper Max Flash, Pencil and Gesso on Unstretched Canvas. Its dimensions are 26 by 28 inches. First Horse includes another characteristic of the series, or series um, untitled, a vertical line that divides the canvas down the middle. Most of her horses, not usually when it's frontal, the horses it's not having the line vertical line, but usually it does have the vertical line or a line having the horse. It's one of the totemic, it's one of her paintings that she makes to discover the. The, this kind of art style by drawing horses and considering the color that it shows it's it's like totemic or the, the tribal yeah something like that and another painting the one that I said in the earlier part of the video is the one that she stopped painting of horses and started doing some kind of deformed um, arm, head, body parts. And this is an example. The painting is entitled The Beggar, created in 1982, and it's a type of oil painting. Um, there are no dimensions for all the. I, I couldn't find the dimensions, so sadly, that's that. So, it depicts a hand, a hand that's cut from the body, and it's kind of dark. I don't know how to... It's like, it's laid down, then it's bloody, considering the black mass dripping from the bottom. In the early 1980s, Rothenberg divorced, divorced George Strakas and began, began painting dismembered heads and hands. She created five 10 feet square paintings of her head and hand as studies. Her painting Beggar from the 1982 was a simplified outline of a head and an outstretched arm to the right. Mm, well, that explains it. After her divorce from Trakas, Rothenberg decided to learn how to use oil paint. She began to paint sailboats and became interested in motion, space, light, and depth. Ooh. And she would paint normal everyday lives. And that's about that.